This is the AF Demi Diamond in clear plastic. We're going to demonstrate now how to assemble this product. Lift the bottom upwards, bring the wings in from the side, and flip at the top and the bottom. And the trap is now assembled. All we need to do now is decide which pest species we're going to monitor for and we're going to look at the Tineola bicelliella pad the closed moth monitoring and take the protective cover off slide back into the back of the Demi Diamond and it's now ready for placement as well as clear plastic the AF Demi Diamond is also available in blue plastic this is for use in the food industry and we're not just able to monitor for Tineola bicelliella the closed moth we can monitor for other insects as well. And if we use the yellow pad, we will be monitoring for fruit flies, Prosophila. A little tip here is to, to add something into the well at the bottom of the Demi Diamond. You could pick something like pieces of fruit, fruit juices, um, alcohol, vinegar. These sort of things would help with attracting the fruit fly towards the bright yellow pad. We also have the, the monitoring pads, these the, the green monitoring pads, the stored product moth. Uh, that would include Plodia interpunctella, which is the Indian meal moth, and also the Aphestia species, the meal moth, warehouse moth, and uh, this is what we, we get with that. Let's say you've been called to a domestic premises to deal with the clothes moth, Tineola bicelliella. One of the clues you may have been given is that your customer could have described damage to woolen carpets, damage to woolen rugs. So one of the first things we would need to do would be to monitor for this particular pest. And we could use the AF Demi Diamond for that purpose, and the pad we would use would be the blue pad for Tineola bicelliella, specific to, to that species. Um, bearing in mind the habits of this insect, we would need to take that into account to make sure we place the trap in the right areas. Um, Tineola bicelliella doesn't fly particularly well at all, it is really scuttling along, running along on surfaces, so we need to be placing the trap at lower levels. Typically we would be looking at wall floor junctions as a key area and also we could tuck this trap behind areas that are dark and undisturbed because that's the typical area that this moth would frequent as well so I'm going to show you a, a good area to place this trap. We will just secure it in place somewhere sensible like this. If you're in a food manufacturing site, a food processing site, and you want to be monitoring for Aphestia species, maybe Plodia interpunctella, the Indian meal moth. So we would use the AF Demi Diamond. And here we're using the, the blue version because we're in a food industry site. We're also using the green pad because this uh, is the pad specifically for Aphestia and Plodia interpunctella. So the way we've placed it here, it's an easy height to, to see it. It's an easy height to service it, to change the pads. We recommend you would change the pads every four weeks, maybe every six weeks. And also the placement of the trap. We wanted to place this approximately every 10 metres in a grid system. The reason we do this is that when you look at the monitoring data, you can use that data, pinpoint down exactly where the infestation is emanating from, look at the focus of the infestation. And here we are with another AF Demi Diamond monitor, and this one is 10 metres apart from the previous trap. What we see here is the real benefit of the AF Demi Diamond in terms of it being a walk-by monitoring system. I can walk by it and I can see through the exterior of the trap onto the glue pad and I can see the level of moth infestation on there. And it's not just for me as a pest controller or an inspector. If your hygiene staff are on site, they can be walking by this monitor and seeing whether moth are present on it or not. This is a really useful thing about the AF Demi Diamond because it encourages regular checking by everybody and this aids early detection of any potential problems.